probably figured I would shoot. Looks like he figured wrong. No! No! Hey, cut that out, Eric. No. I won't stop. Not until you're all dead. Why? Didn't I say already? Because one of us is the one who killed Mira. gonna have to prove it. Prove? I don't have any... And I'm killing you. Wait! Please wait! I know. Maybe... Maybe what? Maybe if I take this helmet off, I think you'll understand then. So, your face will prove your innocence? <laughs> Fine. Take it off. The number for this is... I, I think it's... Let's do it. Why? Care to share your reason? After everything, the issue isn't if Zero can see the future or if he's lying. It's just like Eric said. If Zero does have that power, then it's the same either way. That means all we need to do is think about what happens if he doesn't. Our fate can go four different ways if that's the situation. If we are infected with FBR, and we inject ourselves with Radical Six, or not. If we aren't infected with SPR, and we inject ourselves with Radical Six, or not. The important thing we need to remember, though, is the mortality rates. Zero said the casualty rate is 75% for the Radical Six virus. 
information we saw in the files, the death is 100% confirmed for Fnatic Bio R. So we can use that to determine. It's clear which option is best, right? I see. The probability that we're infected with FBR is 2 to 1, which means if we inject Radical 6, our survival rate is half of 125, 62.5%. And if we don't inject it, then our chance is sitting at 50%. Any objections? Then we know what to do. Okay, here we go. Ready? And... So are we good? Did we do the right thing? The lab door opened afterwards, so we must have. Do you feel any different? No, not really. So, I guess? <laughs> hey, Eric. I've thought this before, but, well, your laugh is kind of strange. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I guess this is, well, sort of a bad habit I've had since I was a kid. What do you mean? She's at home, I guess. Was your family difficult? That's just it. We were completely normal. A kind mom, a clumsy dad, and an annoying little brother. <laughs> oh, dear. What's wrong? Uh, I'm not sure. I've just been crying. Hey, you two. Mind telling mommy why you're crying? Chris <laughs> broke my toy! No! It was your fault, Eric! Chris, Eric, listen to me, okay? When painful or sad things happen, people get angry or cry because of them. But even at those times, I want you to never forget to smile. Smile? Yes. Smile. No matter how painful things get, as long as you can face it with a smile, happiness will come to you. Smiles have a strange power. Really? Yes, really. And that's not all. A smile can make everyone all around you happy, too. You too, Mommy? You'll be happy, too? Show mom your smile. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> sure are something else. Hey, what about me? Did Daddy get some smiles too? Oh dear, it looks like Daddy's lonely, you two. Let's all give him a whole lot of smiles. Okay! okay. Kid over here for a hug. <laughs> oh, you've gotten big. Me too! Me too! Okay! Okay! Come at me! I'm ready! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Mom always told us to never forget to smile. She'd never hurt a bug. Not even if a line of ants crossed her path. She was that kind and gentle. She was incredible. And when we lost her, that's when Dad changed. <laughs> Shut the hell up! Who said you could fucking cry? Chris! Oh, Jesus, Eric! Can't you even look after your shitty little brother? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Please forgive me. God. Fucking kids. Hey, go find something.
someone to get me beer. Don't cry. Don't get mad. Better always smile. Was what Dad liked to say. But unlike Mom, he was never not angry with us. Eventually, I figured out how to smile, regardless of what was going on. Just smiling day in and day out. No fun. Not happy. I'd be made fun of, or yelled at. And no matter the pain, no matter how bad it was, I never raised my voice. I just kept smiling. I didn't stop, even after Dad fell ill and died. So I guess the two smiles, one taught by my mom and one forced by my dad, got kind of mixed up, and the result is what I pasted on my face. Eric, she's... I've never talked to anyone about all of this before, but... Mira, will you still love me? Even with me being like this? How dumb can you get? <laughs> yeah, you're right. I didn't even have to ask, did I? Eric, thanks for sharing that. It wasn't like I did it for you or anything. It just sort of came out, that's all. Yeah, still, thanks. To tell the truth, I just didn't want to end up like my father. So I forced my mouth to keep smiling through everything. But it's no use. The worst part of me still came to the front after we got trapped here. I pushed all of that on you, too. Don't worry about it. I'm all right. <laughs> okay. So you never mentioned you had a younger brother. Yeah. About your age, more or less. What? We're the same age? Oh, maybe we could be friends. Would it be okay if I met him after we get out? Um, well... Uh, anyway, sorry I turned the mood dark. <laughs> <laughs> you turned the mood. Oh, your jokes always crack me up, Eric. Huh? I mean, to think that was dark. You really have a sense for these things. Don't worry, listening to it was a lot of fun. Wait a minute. What makes you think that was all a joke? Uh-huh. It was such a sad story. He just told us he's been holding in this painful past the whole time. How is that a joke? Oh, I just didn't think <laughs> to make a mistake like that. A mistake? I'm so sorry. I've always been clumsy. It's at times like these that I, I don't even know how to look, you know? Clumsy? Hey, Eric. Can you tell me? <laughs> Mira? Ha 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 ha!
Huh? Why am I the only one here? Hey, Mira? Uh, Eric? Now announcing the current casualties. CT, Carlos, Akane, Junpei, QT, Eric, DT, Diana, Vi, Sigma. These seven are now deceased. <laughs> Computer dome? You! You detest me, I suppose. You are welcome to kill me now, if you wish. It should be easy if you put your mind to it. I... I... I want to know the truth. Very well. What... What is this? Your spare bodies. My spare... They were prepared in order to support me and my plan. They function mainly as physical labor, plus other additional deeds. No. Then... Then I'm... Precisely. You are not human. The consciousness that is you does not reside in that body. Your thought center is there, within the quantum computer. You think, sense, and make decisions in there. You then output the results into commands that are transmitted to your body. And it then moves according to those commands. So that's why I didn't die back then. Indeed. Then me not having any memories. Clearly you wouldn't, as you've just come into existence. Only just now. Well, then, what's this? This? I know there's something here. It's warm. And it feels like it has a presence. Hmm. I can only assume it's a remnant of the boy you were modeled off of. He struggled with an incurable disease and lost his life at the age of ten. Who was he? He was called Sean. 
the same name as you. But that's not who I am, is it? Correct. He was simply used as the model to create your personality. Oh. Okay. I see. Then I'm just a program. My consciousness isn't inside this body. What does that matter? Have you considered humans may be the same? Not all humans retain their consciousness inside their brains. Perhaps they exist in an alternate dimension. They may be thinking from there. They then send out their results via relays to their brain. If this is true, then no contradictions exist within cerebrum physiology. If the relay breaks, then your body is unable to recognize commands or function properly. Both are actual phenomena that occur. If nothing else, we're unable to prove that this theory is not correct. Um, can I ask you something? Why did you give me a personality? If you wanted an assistant, uh, wouldn't a simple robot following commands be enough? I... I wanted to see the world as you did. The world of that boy. Sean. What? Uh, what do you mean? There will be no more. Hey, wait! We'll speak later. Right now, I have something that I need you to do. Play the game. The decision game. Why? The game's already over. That is in regards to the others. You are an exception. What? I shall explain the rules. You can see a button right here. Your choices should be obvious. Press it, or refuse to do so. And if I push it? That computer then retains all of the data that makes you unique. Memory, personality, how you think and sense. All of the algorithms that determine your actions are stored inside. If you choose to press the button, all of the data will be duplicated and transferred to a virtual space. It is there that a copy of you will continue to live indefinitely. That world is created to be essentially an exact match to reality. There is no way you realize it is false. The copy of you that is inserted within the space will live a happy life. However, that is strictly within the world of simulation. In the real world, your original self will still be required to stay and exist. The original and copy have no differences. The data is exactly the same. It will be duplicated without any discrepancies. Essentially, the moment you press the button, your resistance splits in two. One of you will be in the virtual space, while the other remains in reality. Then, what happens if I don't want to push it? All data pertaining to you will be deleted without a trace. There are no backups. It will be impossible to recover your data. Refusing to press the button then means your existence will be erased and you will receive a complete death. Uh, a complete death?
your fate is narrowed to three possibilities. Press the button and move to virtual space. Press the button and stay in the real world. Refuse to press it and welcome complete error. You only get two options, however. To press this button or to refuse. What will you decide? You have 10 seconds. 10 seconds. And your future will be forever altered. I... I...